and welcome back to our channel. So if you are new here, mom and I blog and vlog about all things home. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure to like the video and subscribe to this channel and also follow us on Instagram because we um, that's kind of our favorite space online. Um, we share there often. So today is a fun video because not only are we giving you a tour of the nursery so uh, I just had a baby she is four and a half months and she is the cutest sweetest thing ever and um, not only are we gonna give you a tour of her nursery but we're also going to share with you how we hung wallpaper and not just the peel and stick but um, the traditional wallpaper which happened to be one of the easiest DIYs we've ever done so 45 minutes and we got a beautiful statement wall so let's start with the tour. I was first inspired by the color palette. I loved that warm pink that we've been seeing everywhere, that blush with the golds and the tans. It was just something that really inspired me and that color palette really lends to um, the 1960s that was really popular which goes with like the mid-century modern which is perfect because my house is built in the 1960s. So of course that completely inspired me. Um, also, that color palette really lends to a boho feel. So we ended up, based on the color palette, landing in a boho vintage room. That's what was completed. And so um, after I decided the color palette, I knew I wanted to do wallpaper. You know, when you know you're doing a nursery, I feel like everyone defaults to wallpaper now. It's you want that statement wall, you want something that really right when you walk in. And also, I feel like a kid's room or a nursery, you're allowed to do something a little bit more bold that you wouldn't do in a living room or a dining room. So, I wanted to do something that was in your face. And so, I chose a wallpaper that was a botanical, um, well, first of all, I really loved this botanical print, but it was in green. But what's something that's really cool about the wallpaper company that I chose, which is called Livet, is they will print the wallpaper in an assortment of colors. So I ended up printing this, or they printed for me, this wallpaper that um, came in green and they printed it in a color called Latte, which is a warm color with a little bit of a pink undertone. It was just perfect. And they printed it in traditional wallpaper, which like I said, sounds super scary, but was super easy. So we started there and then I started going estate selling and just collecting things. So anything from like um, a mirror, which I found at an antique mall, um, vendor mall that we are actually a vendor at, um, a basket to hang plants and baskets to hang on the wall, a... Um, the, a really cute woven wall art that you just wouldn't have anywhere in your house but it really made sense with this look and it's just so cute and has so much character and so just a lot of vintage finds. We also um, found a dresser at an estate sale which perfectly, the wood tone was perfect for some doors from the 1960s that we happened to find in our attic. And so um, those two just look like they belonged together and so um, I actually ended up moving the dresser that I had planned for in here um, into the guest room and bringing this one from the guest room in here just because the doors and the dresser and all the vintage, it just all went together. So um, we also chose a Jenny Lind crib which is that very fun vintage style and um, just simple white sheets and really just decorated with pillows which of course are not in there while she's sleeping but just for decoration. I feel like sometimes you have to say that on YouTube. You get a lot of um, people giving you parenting advice. Another thing that we did is I did not get a um, rocker or a glider. I actually ended up just getting a, um, a swivel chair from World Market. I was actually really glad I did. It's it's been um, very comfortable to sit in when, when I need to, and I'm happy that I get to move it into another place. It'll be perfect in a living room or in the corner of my guest room or something like that after the nursery. And then above the chair, I put some bookshelves. They were just 
bookshelves from Target. I really liked the style. And then I was um, sent a sign that said Once Upon a Time from a company called Craft Cuts. And it is just, it's so cute and um, adds just the perfect amount of detail to the space. And then lastly, the curtains were really hard to find. And so my friends, Lana and Sissy, and then Charlie came over and we just dyed um, drop cloth curtains in chalk paint. So water, chalk paint, dip them. That's the d DIY we kind of guessed um, as far as how the color was gonna work. We chose a pink, the curtains are tan, put them in a bucket, and mix it around, let them soak, and then let them dry outside, and they are a warm pink. It's just the perfect color, it matched really well, and it is super cost effective. So that's another fun DIY if you are interested in finding in, in that type of look. So let's um, talk about wallpaper and hanging wallpaper. I know that the peel and stick is super popular right now, and I've done it. Um, but I found that it was really hard to move around and maneuver if the pattern was complicated. So a simple pattern, it's easy to line up, but once you stick it on the wall, peeling it, readjusting, peeling it, readjusting, it was kind of a challenge. So I'm just gonna tell you very simply, traditional wallpaper, you take paste, you put it in a paint can or a paint tray, you take the roller, you roll the paint or the glue on the wall in the section that you're putting that one panel and then you put the panel on it and if you put enough glue it's easy to adjust the panel on the wall so that if you need more height on the top or more on the bottom it's just really easy to adjust whereas the peel and stick was not easy to adjust so it wasn't as user friendly to me as the traditional was. So when I actually got traditional wallpaper, I was super happy that I did that. So um, all you need is glue, wallpaper, this tool, which is called a smoothing brush, and a really sharp knife. So we started with um, just pulling, putting the glue out, putting the panels on the wall, and something that we didn't think about was the fact that your walls might be uneven. So my house is old and it's on a, it's pier and beam. And so it kind of slopes. I mean, it doesn't look to the naked eye. You wouldn't look like it wouldn't look like it, but no, nothing is perfectly straight. Essentially, um, we're humans. It's built by humans. And so whereas we had enough room at the top on the right side, as we went down, it, we didn't have enough wallpaper. And so to make it go by the pattern, it was crooked. So to fix this, we just ended up calling our painter to put, um, calling our painter to put a crown molding up and it was all resolved. So when you stick up, uh, so, so that's my first tip is to make sure you have enough room on the top and the bottom. So just leave a little bit extra. So if your ceilings are eight foot, just have four inches at the top, four inches at the bottom. And then that allows it to where when you cut it, you can cut it straight and it'll be perfect. The next thing is just stick it on and use this tool to straighten it out. The hardest part is really making sure the patterns are connected and that it is all um, looks like one big smooth piece, but that's really easy to do. If you put a lot of glue, then you can just kind of adjust it when it's on the wall, which is what we did. And it was done in 45 minutes. The, um, we would, well, so then after it was done, we let it dry before we cut the window and the electrical uh, outlet and even the ceilings, it was much easier to cut when it was dry. And that was a tip that my friend Michelle Howell from Vintage Home Designs gave me. She said, just let it dry and then cut it. So I, when we finished, I didn't cut until the morning, um, the next morning, and then it looked perfect. So, um, guys, it's, 
it's really that simple. So I'll try to type out in um, the blog post some more details if things that I could think that might throw you for a loop, but really it's that easy. And I recommend traditional, not pre-pasted, traditional glue on wallpaper over the peel and stick. I, I really highly recommend it. It will make a huge statement. And I also recommend Livets because you can choose any of their patterns in any color you want, which is super cool. It makes it unique. I feel like a ton of people don't have th this wallpaper in this color, which I, you should get you should get this color choice. It's a really good choice, but it's also fun to have something that's super unique. So I hope this was helpful. I hope it inspired you. Um, also, if you need more baby girl inspiration, we have also, I'm also uploading a tour of Quinn's room at mom's house. So she calls it her one year old room because it has a real bed and not a crib. Uh, but it's just a super cute room that she plans to um, have like a dress up box and all sorts of fun cute baby girl things in. So um, make sure that you tour that as well. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, leave us all the feedback. You can find um, shop links on the blog as well as in the description below. So I hope that you have a great day. Guys.